Maria Zafirkova, Ludmila Zivkova, posthumously 1981. The painting is a portrait of Ludmila Zivkova, long-time chairwoman of the Committee for Art and Culture with the rank of minister and daughter of the long-serving communist leader Todor Zhivkov. In scientific literature, the 1970s in Bulgaria are also known as the Zhivkova era. Her politics, her programs, her eccentricity in the fascination with various spiritual teachings, her intellectual circle of artists, writers and actors, determined the course of development of culture and art in the country for decades after her death. The portrait was painted posthumously in the year when Zhivkova died under somewhat unclear circumstances. In the same year, the remarkable celebration of the 1300th anniversary of the foundation of the Bulgarian state, one of the largest and most ambitious projects of Ludmila Zhivkova was implemented. For almost 10 years of preparation of this jubilee, a huge number of works of monumental arts and architecture were created in the country. Unprecedented interest in the cultural and archaeological heritage was seen, and the historical past became a major prism for understanding and internalizing modern times. Ludmila Zhishkova drew her ideas about the beauty and harmonious development of the personality from the spiritual teachings of which she was a follower. They became the basis for her political programs. The white colour with which her image is always associated also was related to these teachings. The communist princess, as she was called, dressed in white. This is why in her portrait, painted from a photograph, the dominant colour is white as the main symbol of her life and ideas. White imparts to the painting a certain intangibility as if to show that she was no longer among us. The red line is also a symbol, the dramatic break of life at its most sublime and mature moment. The portrait, although painted to order, cannot be defined as formal, but rather as personal.